All right, everybody. Um, I'm really excited about this. This is our first live gambler audit. Um, when this person actually uh, came to me and said, hey, listen, um, I want to tell my story. I want to tell what happened. I want to say this is what occurred on my last gambling trip. And I want to share the experience with everybody. And I said that exactly. That's exactly what I want to hear. We want to hear these experiences and we want to hear. And this person, I know you're going to be excited about to hear from. I'm very excited that they're coming on and it's this is going to be great let's go ahead and get started here i'm going to go ahead and add them here ready here it is <laughs> and it's mark mark sitting it's in our me. hot seat <laughs> <laughs> okay it probably wasn't too big of a surprise guys but uh yeah i need to put it felt like more of a surprise for me yeah yeah so dave so, take it away mark, i don't know who you are why i'm here what am i doing here so you're part of our gambler audit came to me and said hey I have an experience I want to share from my last gambling trip. Yep. And as soon as you told me, I was like, people got to hear this. Yeah. So let's hear your story. Let's hear what happened on your last trip. Let's uh, okay. let's hear it. Let's do it. So I'm going to be uh, very public about this. It's something that uh, I thought actually not very long on. I, I decided once I made this decision that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something that I want to put out there so people understand that. Um, even the strongest of us and people that like us that educate you um, can even fall victim to some of this stuff. Um, and I think it's really important to get this message out uh, just so other people can realize that you can be as strong as you possibly can be, uh, but run into issues. So um, the long and the short of it, I, I'll go ahead and give you a little teaser. Um, I literally talked to Jody in the room and said, I don't want to be in a casino for another year. I'm going to take a year off of gambling 100%. Um, that's how turned off I was by what I did. Um, so let's, I want to kind of talk about what actually happened. So, you know, we we were in Vegas recently, uh, basically just to turn in a bunch of comps for the end of the year. We didn't want to lose them. Uh, so we were there to do that. Uh, Jody spent a lot of time in the spa. I spent a lot of time in the room, but also being very antsy sitting in the room. Um, with a big casino downstairs, right? <laughs> so um, it was one of those times where I brought about eight or nine hundred dollars of my own cash that I actually got from Windstar when I played at Windstar earlier uh, last month. And so I brought that eight hundred bucks uh, with me and decided that I would play that. And then if I needed to, I would take another three hundred out of my personal account uh, to play some more. And so, what happened is, of course, the new top dollar grand was there and I had to play that because I was so fixated on that the entire time that I was getting ready to fly up there. I wanted to play that game so bad and uh, it beat me up pretty bad. Um, it was one of those. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced like playing a new game that you know that you're going to love, but you just don't seem to get any good hits or bonus rounds and things like that. And it, I fell victim to the chase. Like I just kept wanting to play it. I felt like it it owed me <laughs> for here I am. To, you know, we're the ones telling you not to fall for this stuff. But I was in the moment there and I would go down there and play 300 bucks. And in 10 minutes, it would be gone playing quarters, playing 50 cents. I, you know, just it was gone. And so I go back in the room and I'm like, man, that's just real frustrating. Um but I made the mistake of not taking a long enough break. And I went back downstairs and played another 300. And before I knew it, the first day we were there, I was already down 600 bucks, um, just like that. And I was like, well, I have, I don't know, three or $400 left, including my reserve. Let me just hold off for a little while. And, uh, you know, I'll go back down and, and try again later. And, uh, I did and still didn't win. And I started playing other things. Um, I played the dollar uh, pinball, the dollar double top dollar that's out there. I played the five dollar top dollar, just the regular one. Um, and it was an experience that I really haven't had in a long time, which was I was just not winning anything. You know, I was losing everything. And the problem with that is. I felt like I was due something, at least some kind of win so that I could like walk away and say, at least I doubled something like a hundred bucks. I doubled to 200, but none of that was happening. But I made the biggest mistake of continuing to play um, without taking those breaks, without stuffing the rest of my cash away where I couldn't obtain it, things like that. And so by Friday, 
you know, we were there all weekend. By Friday night, I was out of my budget that I brought. I was out of my reserve and I had nothing left. And here we go. I have to wait till I have to do Saturday. I have to do Sunday. I wanted to do some videos for you guys, all these things. And I'm like, well, what am I going to do now? Because I don't have the money. I lost it. Um, and I broke the one rule that I told myself that I would never do in any situation or any time I was at a casino. And that is to go into our joint account and pull out money for gambling. And I told myself over and over and over again, this entire year, last year, year before that, whenever I started to pick up going to the casino again, that I would never touch our joint account. Okay. That is our money that we both earned together. Um, I didn't think it was appropriate to go into that account for any reason. If I wanted to gamble with money, it needed to be money that I earned by selling machines or side hustles or whatever the case is. Nothing that would hurt us financially, if that makes sense. Um, so I broke that rule and I took 300 bucks out Saturday morning and I was in, I guess you could call tilt mode where I was not starting slow. Um, I started playing $5 machines, $10 machines, just trying to get that money back that I lost the day before. Um, I wasn't thinking about filming. I wasn't thinking about the channel. I wasn't thinking about Jody and our joint account. I was not thinking about any of that stuff. At that point, I was full steam ahead. Let's see how much damage I can do. Um, and let's see if I can recover my losses. Uh, the $300 was gone within five to 10 minutes. And I pulled another 200 out which was the ATM limit. And I got to tell you, if that wasn't the ATM limit, I don't think at that point I would have stopped. I think I would have kept going. I would have kept pulling money out until it, it told me I couldn't do it anymore. Um, because I was not thinking. I, my head was not in the game. Um, I was being reckless. Um, I fell for all of the traps that we talk about on this channel. Um, and it made me feel like, Shit. I'm just going to say it. It made me feel like shit. Uh, what did I do? Why did I do this? And I sat in the room because uh, uh, Jody was in a massage at the time. And I literally sat on the couch for like an hour staring at the ceiling, just thinking, you know, what? why did I, why did I let this happen? How could I have let this happen? How is somebody that is so you know, focused on gambling and smart gambling and helped to create this channel and worked with Cowboy Slots about educating you guys. How can somebody like that end up in this situation? Um, and I was really mad at myself for it. And I felt like the only solution I could think of at the time is that I just need to stop gambling. Cold turkey. Just don't do it. Um, and I was fully prepared to say you know, for an entire year. And I might still do this, by the way. Um, I will not be in a casino gambling for an entire year. It gives me time to reflect. It gives me time to reset. Um, but we did talk a little bit yesterday. And I think I'm willing to try one thing. And I wanted to share that with you guys. And we will most definitely put this on the channel um, so you guys can see the process. Um when we do go to the casino, because I do want to go to Windstar and I want to play with you guys and I want to experience that kind of stuff. But she is my new money manager. Um, she will clean out my wallet. She'll make sure nothing is in there except my license. Um, I want you to check my clothes. I want you to check my bag. I want you to check everything. Full frisky. Um, yeah, frisk me completely and make sure I don't have access to money. And then she's going to be the one to determine when I get <laughs> get the gloves on. <laughs> she's going to be the one that will ultimately manage my budget. Okay. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, this is one of those things where I said, I'll try it. But if I feel like I'm still in that mode where I'm going to lose control, even though I don't have access to money, it would still cause me to get depressed. It would cause me to you know, be upset at myself and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a real experiment when I go up to Windstar to see if this is something that I can do. Um, and I'm re I'm ready to pull the plug. I honestly am. And a lot of people don't get that opportunity. A lot of people will just keep going and going and going until everything's gone and exhausted, you know, rock bottom. Um, I think I'm at least fortunate enough that I, I haven't hit rock bottom. <laughs> um, and I put a stop to this before it got even worse. And 
this should really be a lesson uh, to you guys that, and this is why I wanted to be very public about this and be honest and, and transparent, that even the strongest of us, it, it, this can happen. Like th this can happen. And it did happen. It happened to me right in front of my eyes. And I wasn't thinking about it. And I wish I could describe more of what was going through my head at the time. But really, all it was is that who cares? I'll figure it out later. But I need the money now. Like, I need the money now because I cannot get a win off these machines. And I'm playing machines that I would normally not play because I know I can probably win on it. Like, everything just completely went out the window. My mind was not in it. And it, it's tough. Like, it's really tough. Um, but I feel like I did the right thing by, you know, spending some time alone to self-reflect. What am I going to do from here? I'm ready to stop cold turkey if that's what it's going to take. Um, and if that's what it, you know, if that's what I need to do, ultimately, that's what I will do. You know, I will stop. And if I stop for a year, maybe after a year, I decide, you know what? I don't want to get back into it. I'll do it another year, you know, or maybe I'll start to ease into it then. But I don't want to, if I do it too quickly, I might relapse. You know what I mean? And that's not what I want. Um, it's not what anybody should want to, <laughs> to go back to the situation. So here's a lesson that I really want to tell you guys. Um, and, I, and I very much appreciate all the comments and questions coming in. We'll, we'll go through those in a second. Um, I think one thing that I want you guys to do, and I think we talked about this on one of the episodes live or whatever we did, that every time you go to the casino and you leave, whether you had a good time, a bad time, or a devastating time like I had, you must self-reflect on what happened. If it was good, reward yourself by saying, I was smart. I left with my money. I didn't keep playing to put it back in. I, I did great. You know, reflect on that. If you didn't do well, well, figure out what it is that you didn't do well and know that you're not going to do it the next time. And then if it's the devastating one where it's just you lost all control and you brought your ATM cards and you cleaned out your bank account, and you did all that kind of stuff, then take a more serious step. And if you feel like you can't have control over it, there's help out there. You know, there's Gamblers Anonymous. We'll put it in the comment section below so you guys can contact them if you need to. Um, you can also do um, self-exclusion. So you can put yourself on a self-exclusion list, which means that you cannot play in a casino. They will kick you out. Um, there are things that you can do to help if you really have lost control and you're not willing to put limits on yourself or to have somebody else put limits for you. Um, and so ultimately, that's that may be where I end up. I don't know yet, but I'm willing to do it if it, if it requires that, if that makes sense. So. Uh, I guess we'll get to some questions now, um, some comments. Uh, Dave, I'll let you put them up and read them because I, I can't. I've got my glasses on. I still can't see. Oh, good. Can't see. <laughs> so I've got a couple for Mark real quick. Yeah, no, yeah. So go for it. I talked too long. Mark called me like literally right afterwards, you know, like next day. And he's just like, you wouldn't believe what happened. He's like, I took a lot of losses. As soon as he said that, I was like, well, which rule did you break? And how many of them did you break? Because <laughs> you couldn't have. You couldn't have lost that much because you didn't have your debit card. It was like, I have my debit card with me. Okay. You knew right away. The thing that I heard from Mark's voice was, I know I screwed up. Like he instantly understood he screwed up. You can't stop yourself when you're in the moment. Like when you're, when you're rolling on there and you're just like, this is the path I'm on. You're a passenger. I mean, you really are. It's, it's that whole thing of you're just a passenger and you're the one putting the money in, but somebody else, that little demon inside you is pressing that button and is gambling. And the fact that you sort of clicked and said, I know what I did. I fucked up. And then all of a sudden, now you're in that damage control of how do I fix this and everything else. That's the right attitude to have post. That is absolutely the right attitude to have. In the moment, it's already happened. You know, you did everything you could to stop it. You didn't go get more money out, which you definitely could have. You could have done other things, but you didn't. So you did have control there somewhere. 
and it's not as bad as it could have been. And I told Mark this as like, listen, you're not losing your home. You're not losing your car. You're not losing your retirement. You know, all these things are not occurring, whereas they could have in worse cases. Right. So this is things that happen to all of us. They've happened to me. They'll happen to you if they haven't already before. That's why Mark and I are here because we don't want you guys to experience this. We want you guys to leave that debit card at home. We want you to not bring your, we want you to bring your budget and stick to your budget, have a gambling buddy to listen to, have those rules in place to prevent you from you. And I need them just as much as Mark needs them, just as much as anyone else does. And there are times when I'm still and something will happen and I'll over gamble my budget. And I'll tell Mark, like, listen, I blew through my budget and I blew through my reserve. And he's like, what'd you do? I'm like, I just went for it. I was chasing. I did this. I know I did it at the time. I couldn't stop when I was there, but no. I can stop afterwards. And there are times when I tell Mark, like, yeah, I got this big win, but it was a win despite what I did. And it wasn't a win genuine. It was something I did that was reckless and I got rewarded for that recklessness. Right. And that's the worst thing for me is to have a win <laughs> right. yeah. while I was being reckless because I'm like, this wasn't a genuine win. Yes, I still want it. I got that whatever hand pay, but I broke every rule to get it. And so it's not good. It's not a good win. And it's so really that's one of the things yeah. why I tell people don't chase hand pays because it's not worth it. You know, you're paying the taxes and everything else and the reward is not there. Yeah. And it's definitely, you know, Mark, we've all been there and you can see by these comments, we're going to go through them. Um, you got everyone who's just like, yep, been there, done that. Totally understand. Uh, and guys, if you guys have questions, rip them on out here. We're going to go over these with Mark right now. Uh, well, I've started them and we're going to go right through them. Within reason. Within reason. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay. So quick, easy one for Jody. What grade level do you teach? Because I don't even know. I think it's like <laughs> high, high school, school maybe. There it is. Yeah, see, it's high school. I had 11th and 12th. Wow. The worst of the worst. <laughs> I got to say like 10th is probably the worst, but yeah. They're all okay. good. Okay. Uh, was this at Park MGM mainly? Yes. It was yeah. all at Park MGM. Didn't gamble anywhere else. It was the closest. It, well, we did, did go over to. Oh, we did go to the MGM. Uh, yeah. We went to MGM. Go over to MGM. Yeah. And that ten dollar yep. uh, denomination top dollar, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I, believe me, I know that machine. It was so ugly. Well. Yeah, it was ugly. Yeah. And then one from Robin R. I've chased a lot. We all have, Robin. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. It's it's that whole thing. But we have some great positive comments from Tammy. Thanks for being so open and honest with us. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, thank you, Tammy. And. Uh, Tazzy and Joe, <laughs> very easy to do with a new game. You are not kidding yeah, on that. It's true. Uh, it was you, interesting. You just had new too, game when, syndrome. When we were there, um, I mean, Mark has his favorite games and stuff that he likes to play, but you could tell like it was a little bit different with the new game. Like every time we'd walk through the casino, it was almost like there was a magnet yeah, there was. attached to that. Yeah. machine and he would just always find himself right there at the new top dollar machine yeah. and that is, is so true because we've been waiting for this game to come out for a while and i've been wanting to play it and i know mark has as well so mm -hmm. it evens like it's you're like just no come on and am i wrong you wanted the bonus at the top right you wanted to be that yeah, and I got it. First one to get the bonus at the top. Enough. I wanted the top one. <laughs> right, you wanted the top one. Because <laughs> right. it's a new game, you know? Yeah. And I feel the same way. It's a top dollar game. I should be good at it. Yeah. And it's like, I sh this is no problem. I should be great at this. And then it well, kicks too, you down. You know, we've, we've got these games that, you know, are low volatility, um, you know, and the way it gets discussed, I think a lot of times, um, and even the way it's presented sometimes, you know, people go in with the expectation, well, this was recommended and 
it should give me money. <laughs> and, you know, there, I think there's, you know, with the, your favorite games that you have that idea about, you know, it, you know, it's not true, but there's that emotional attachment and that investment, I don't know, emotional investment that you've, you've put into to that game. And so it can be hard to walk away. Yeah. And I think that, I mean, I, I might be a little different than most gamblers when it comes to slot machines. Cause yeah, I like, I like winning on slot machines. Everybody does. Right. But I actually enjoy the games themselves uh, more than anything else. And I felt like I was playing top dollar grand because I enjoyed the game. Like it's, it's just like when I bring a new machine in here and start playing it, I will play the crap out of it for weeks um, until I get kind of bored of it. And then I just play it every now and then. But I was doing the same thing in the casino, but unfortunately with real money. And that's where I tripped up. You know, this is not in my house. I shouldn't be doing this, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so. And it gets to be tough. It does yeah. get to be tough to resist sometimes. Yeah, it does. We got one yeah. from Andrea here. I got to say the number of absolutely un understanding of what you yeah. went through is, yeah. is just amazing to me that we have all experienced this, but it's something we don't talk about as gamblers. Nobody we wants to. It doesn't make any about, sense. You should. Right. You should talk, talk about the negatives. You be embarrassed about it. Like it. Nope, not it at all. Sucks, but you shouldn't be embarrassed about it. You know, it's, nope. this has to be out there. Um, you know, again, even the, the strongest of us, like it, it, it can happen. Like it's, it's almost meant to happen. Eventually, the longer you play, the more likely it's going to happen to most of us. Um, you know, some people have really good willpower and it never happens to them, but unfortunately I'm not one of those. <laughs> not, not one of me. I need me either. <laughs> yeah. And let's see here. We got, uh, from Marty B. I understand it's difficult to walk away, especially when it seems like everyone around you is winning. Yeah. That's the other thing that def that's the, this the how it's designed. The casinos are designed for all those bells and whistles to just go through the whole property and let everyone know who's winning. And especially at Windstar, it's probably the worst. <laughs> the bells. Yeah. <laughs> of those bells that go off for every ten dollars you win, so you can hear them. Da 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 da. <laughs> And the same thing for any casino is all that info, all those things are just there to echo. That's why there's not many walls or, you know, blockades in a casino. It's all open. You can see from one end of the floor to the other and that sound carries. And they want those sounds. They want to count the sound of the craps table roaring. They want the sound of the blackjack, people cheering. They want all that going so you can hear people winning. And it right. does. It, it definitely takes a mental toll on you. It does. Yeah. And it probably didn't help that right before he took that five hundred dollars out was when I had hit the jackpot on Cherry's Jubilee, yeah. and so it was just like he was uh, losing and losing and losing, and then he saw me win. And yeah, psychologically, that probably it, I had mean an it. Impact. It probably did. I mean, I won't lie. And I mean, it was. I put three hundred twenty dollars through Cherry's. Didn't get anything. Yeah. And then she hit, I'm, I'm still very glad that you hit it. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, I mean, this was ultimately what happened and what really beat me up is that this was one of the trips where I was just not winning on anything. And you should expect that to happen from time to time. There will be trips that it doesn't matter what you do and nothing's changed. Like the, the casino hasn't changed. Uh, the payback percentages on the machines haven't changed. Nothing's changed. You're just unlucky. You just were not pushing the button at the right time. And that's ultimately what killed me here is that I just could not land a win at all. Like it was always, if I got the bonus round, it got me not even back to even, you know, it was just like a slow drain every single time. And I got so frustrated by that, that I just kept upping my bet, which is the biggest thing you should not do is to chase those losses. And that's what I ended up falling victim to is that if I can just get, you know, off of a hundred bucks or 200 bucks on this $10 top dollar, if I can just get one bonus round, then I will wipe out everything that I lost uh, mm -hmm. up to this point. 
and then I can just breathe. That's all I really wanted to do, but that's not how it worked out. I was not lucky. I did not get the bonus and I was down 200 bucks very quickly. And, you know, it just kept going and kept going. I just was not winning. And so I learned a huge lesson from this, um, which is, well, two things. One, uh, I know I have a weak point and the weak point is if I'm not getting any satisfaction in the casino, I've got to stop and not make it worse. And that, that was the thing that, that caused me to dive off the deep end is that I could not stop. I wanted to get some kind of win, some kind of success so that I could at least leave the casino floor happy that I turned hundred into 400 or something like that. But that was not happening. And I just kept going. And the second thing I learned is that I need to take way more breaks than I do. Um, I need to calm down. I need to do what I'm talking about all the time by leaving the money in and not taking the ATM cards. Like I learned all that. I, it, it, mm -hmm. and it, it, it shouldn't, I thought, I honestly thought I was strong enough to resist doing that, but I was not because of all I tell those, you, I'm not, you know, it just, it's like a cascading effect. One thing happens mm -hmm. and the next thing happens and the next thing. And sooner or later, you're just, you're out of control. And that's, that's what happened. And it kind of perfectly yep. illustrates what these games are designed for. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like if you play yeah. them for any length of time, you're never going to come out in the positive in the long run. Um, you know, we've played tournaments here at the house. And some nights, you know, we all have our vouchers or start off with a certain amount of money. And sometimes it's not who wins the most money. It's who lost the least money. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that probably ends up being the case more often than, than not, at least right. on an individual basis. You don't get somebody who's coming out way in the way in the green. Yeah. I'm going to skip ahead here to another. Um, no, go for it. Let's see here. I've got uh, here we go. This one's from Izzy. I wanted to share this one. Uh, as a recovering alcoholic of 21 years, clean and sober, congratulations, Izzy. Keep that strong fight up yes. every day. You know how it goes. Um, I know I have to stay vigilant and very aware, and it's super easy to lose yourself. And it is the exact same thing with gambling. And that is a great message right there of every day it's a struggle. And you got to remember that is that you got to stay vigilant and you got to be strong. And like Izzy, we can all do it. You know, we can just stay strong. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. You're doing great. Yep. Congratulations. Yeah, that's tough. And from Coyote Concentrates, I'm way behind in the video, but this <laughs> is one of the my favorite lives since Mark has entered the slot community. With he's been one of the favorite personalities. He's been one of my favorite personalities. Thanks for showing even yeah. your human. It's like that's true. We're all Thank human. You so much. I, that's really nice to say. I I love that. Absolutely, we all screw up. Yeah. And uh, one from Chris. Is this a therapy session? Chris, you know, <laughs> yes. Um, I feel Not like me, all of our. Else. Yeah, exactly. Right. I feel like all of our gambling audits are sort of a therapy of let's hear what works and what doesn't work. And this is a prime opportunity for Mark letting us know what didn't work. He know we have discussed this in length of all these rules of leaving debit cards and doing this and doing that. He knows all this stuff. But at the same time, you get caught up in it and you ride that wave and then you start eating sand. And that's what pretty much happens. You want to put as many barriers between you and that happening as mm -hmm. possible. Yeah. And I do know one thing is for sure going forward, whether I stop or don't stop or anything in the future, I will never gamble alone again. I just okay, never I gamble never, alone. I need a buddy. I hate gambling alone. You know, it's like, just. That's I where I it. fell into the trap is that I was alone. I didn't have anything but myself to stop me. And mm -hmm. you know how that went. <laughs> so yep. I need somebody with me to gamble with. And plus it's more fun and exciting to do that anyway. So it is. that's having that gambling the, buddy. What the lesson here is, is that he should have been in the spa with me. Yeah. <laughs> well, in retrospect. Yes. No, I don't, I don't get that part. Well, I can't argue it. But what if I hit 10 grand down downstairs? Then I would. Did you? No. Yeah, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Kimber, this is a judgment-free zone. You are correct, absolutely. Kimber. This absolutely is a judgment-free yeah. zone. No one's judging for anyone's actions. We're just 
helping out for the future and asking questions, learning more about what happened. And yeah. Mark's here sharing what happened. Uh, and then, of course, from Richard, the math always wins in the long run, even if you are a slot expert. Extremely correct. Uh, yeah. That whole we're sprinting, they're running a marathon. You try to run a marathon and they're going to win. Hands yep. down, they're going to win. Even on the home games that are set to max payout. Yeah. That's and then right. actually that leads in for a good question from Tazzy and Joe. Mark, do you think having machines at home makes it harder to have control at the casino because you don't have to think about it playing when you're at home? That's a really good question. Um, I think I know the division. Like I know that I'm not spending money. Um, and that's also kind of why in general, I set these things to like crazy high denominations because I know I would never play that level. Um, so it's not really realistic anyway. Um, that's a very good question. I, I mean, I get a lot of enjoyment out of slot machines as the, as the game, not as the gambling device. And so that could be, that could have an impact on it. I mean, I won't lie. I don't know. It's a very good thought. I'll have to think about that. Maybe the issue is that some of the games aren't available for you to have at home yet. Yeah. Like the new top dollar. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the, the other games that are here, things that. Yeah. I mean, in some ways it's helped me because I love more huff and puff, but I would never play it in a casino. I hate uh, playing I mean, in a casino. Even when I was full tilt, I know they had one in there. I wasn't going to play it because I had one at home. I know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's it's how bad it is. Yeah. And from Vegas slot couple, a similar thing happened last year to my wife and me. We blew through about six thousand in a few hours. Luckily, we were playing with money we previously won. That is good. But yeah. it's the same exact thing. You anyone can go through it. Even even jackpot winners, you know, like Vegas slot couple, like they've they've done really really well, and they have the same issues. You know, we all do. And I think that's what's really important is that we're learning that it's okay to screw up. Yeah. You know, as long as you learn from that screw up, that's the main thing. Don't screw up and then screw up again and then screw up again and screw up again without making any changes. Yeah. You just say, hey, look, this is what I learned and I need to adapt this. Every time I have gone broke and it's been a lot each a new rule comes in and it's just like that's how all of my rules got set of you know you have a gambling buddy you know whenever possible i mean i really don't like gambling alone i like gambling with somebody else there and you're bringing your budget and your debit card stays at home and like my credit cards that i bring with me i have no idea what the pin number is i have never set one if i do have one i don't know it because if I did and I was that bad, I would know I'd try to try to grab that money out. Yeah. But knowing that if I go take that credit card to the casino cage and they will give you a cast advance with no pin. But I know that's going to be a 40 percent VIG. And I'm going to call it a VIG because it is in a casino and you are borrowing money from worse than actual loan sharks. I yeah. mean, absolutely worse. Loan sharks would just break your legs. <laughs> Credit card companies will take everything. Yeah, that's I mean, true. <laughs> it is re absolutely ridiculous what they'll go through. And I think, and I think too, that's... You know, when people are when people are having these issues, um, it can it, it can sometimes be hard to admit, you know, out loud that that these things have happened to you. But I would say, you know, have that one person in your life that you can open up to, um, because when you start getting inside your head, bad things happen. Yep. And, um, you know, you don't, somebody else has a perspective that's free of all of your biases, um, you know, and then they can be a support system. I, as you can see here, you know, people are being very supportive. Um, you know, I don't think you have to fear as much yeah. the judgment. And I can't, I can't even begin to tell you guys that while I was in the room thinking about all this stuff, 
I could not wait for her to open the door to the hotel room and come in because I was just itching to talk to her because I, I know who she is, <laughs> my lovely wife, of course, but she's also non-judgmental. We've always been that way with each other. And I knew that she could listen to me and bounce ideas off of um, what I was trying to say. And she lets me talk and it's, you know, I appreciate that, of course. And if you guys don't have that, then seek it out. Uh, find somebody to talk to, um, even if it's if it's not a relative or a friend, a psychologist, a psychiatrist. Uh, talk to them about this stuff. You know, you have you cannot like Jody just said, you can't leave this inside of you because you'll eat yourself up alive. And then you will probably repeat the mistake again because you haven't told anybody. Like, I think the best therapy for me is to be sitting here right now telling everybody what happened, what went wrong, that I'm fallible like everybody else. That is the best therapy that I can think of right now. Um, Not only that, it's often easier to lie to yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's not that bad. I mean, you can yeah, totally tell yourself that. any story and you'll I believe it. That. I thought about that in the room. I was like, there's two ways I can go with this. Pretend that it didn't happen and just brush it off and not tell her or confront it and do something about it. And I knew what I wanted to do, obviously, was choice number two. But I will not lie. That first option was in my head. You know, I thought maybe I should just, you know, pretend this didn't happen and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, but that's not going to help me the next time. It's going to it's going to cause me to repeat it again because I knew I got away with it. Right. <laughs> So I needed to be out front and open about it and lay it all out on the table because uh, that's the only way I knew that I could fix it, you know, for the next time. And we got from Proud Monkey here. Going to be blunt. Focus on going forward. Get Joe's forgiveness. <laughs> I think he's got that. I think he's okay. Yeah. Make up for what you took from the joint account, even if you have to sell one of your slots and don't let it happen Or get again. a couple's massage. I got to say, that's way better than number two in my book. Just get the couple's massage and don't have to sell a machine. Yeah, that's a deal right there. Machines. I'd make that deal. <laughs> I'm not in the hole that much, guys. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, But you're exactly right, Proud Monkey. Those are great steps to take to, to get this done. You know, And Mark and I talked about that of, you got to put that money back. And he's like, that means I'm going to have to sell a machine. I'm going to have to do extra hours at my side gig, all these yeah. things. Those are penalties that you have on yourself that if you had not done this, you wouldn't have had to do that money right. could have been used for something else, but now you have to use that money to do that, you know, to pay yourself back right. essentially. And yeah. the, again, the good thing is, is that you're in the position to be able to do that. Right. It's not the end of the world. It's a screw up. It's a stumble not a fall and broken your face. Right. And that's definitely, but proud monkey, you're thinking exactly right. You know, that's how you get back, you know, in, get back into it is to fix the issues and then literally get back on the horse. You know, I don't want to say, yeah. Oh, get back in the saddle. No, because that's in your own time. That's not right. a right. day I can assign to somebody. That's a, he may get to the casino and be like, listen, I've got, I'm not feeling it. You know, I'm just not, yeah. not feeling it. And neither one of us are going to be any kind of pressure. It's going to be, you know, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. You know, yeah. you can sit there, we can record, we can go live, stuff like that. You don't have to play because it's just like, and I'm going to use this analogy. It, it's just like being in a car wreck. It is hard to get behind that wheel again. Yeah. Because you have that apprehension and you have that, sort of sense that it's going to happen again. Right. And like, listen, all you've done is get behind the wheel. You haven't even started the car up yet and you're feeling that way. So you need yeah. to get out of the car <laughs> and take a minute, you know, because you can't just shut that door, start the car up and go down the highway because you're going to be feeling that way. And yeah. that's a great, a great thing to think about going forward on that. I agree. Good one. Probably. I like that a lot. That was, that was yeah. a, that was a really good one. Let's see here. We got these other ones here. You got a lot started uh, there. <laughs> Let's a lot see. started. I'm gonna I'm gonna rapid Let's fire through these because a lot yeah. of them, most of them are just uh you know well wishes and everything more than questions. Let's go through some of the ones. Tilt mode playing 
catch up is always the worst. We've all chased it. That's true. We've all gone for it and it just hits it. And uh, Andrea says the bad timing did that about five years ago. Lesson learned. That's good. You learned that That's lesson, Andrea. Uh, learning the lesson is is the important part of it all. That's that's you paid for it. You might as well get a good education from that. That's right. Motivational moxie. Man, Mark, this is real love. Even more respect. You know, <laughs> we all do, Mark, because it's hard to it's hard to to tell your story. You know, it's it, this is I mean, especially the thing we don't want to talk about. Like, hey, it, 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 that's that's the. And I don't. I would never hide it from you guys. Like I just feel like, um, I, I mean, I really appreciate that comment because it, it does mean a lot. That even though we're doing a channel all about this stuff and how not to do what I just did, you know, again, we're all fallible. Uh, it, it can happen, and you know, it's uh, that's the human aspect to it. You know, and it, I think if anything, this will drive our point across even more that it's difficult sometimes and we're here to help like we're here yep, to help exactly and from tammy big respect for you man this is real and you didn't have to say diddly squat to us mad respect for you mark <laughs> and that's true he didn't have to say a thing but he said i want to go on and i want to say this i want to let people know that this happens and i'm like that's perfect because Ace, i am that I'm, i am so done with you I, I don't understand why you keep commenting. Like, what is why do you keep coming back, Ace? We got nothing for you, man. You're banned now. You know, this is I'm real. So, I'm so this done is... with you. Just go, just go away. This is a I real channel. You don't like it. I don't know who you are or what, but I just just go. Like, you don't like our stuff. Just go watch something else. Like, dude, Jesus. The channel's the channel's hurting. Listen, why? Why is the channel hurting? We've got people in our live who are active, who are responsive yeah. to things oh, we, don't need we to have real anything. topics going on we don't yeah. need to defend anything like we we're doing what we're doing <laughs> we're building a community we're fine like I'm not gonna let exactly someone like down so all right anyway and go uh ahead. here from club mike v yikes that's kind of bad luck i t that's the kind of bad luck i typically get which explains why i do few casino trips and with small amounts i always expect to lose and once it happens i move on and that's a good thing to do mike is uh Keep that budget small and your exposure small. Yeah. And from Marty B, Vegas environment could have been a factor in the situation. I always think Vegas or a casino environment I, is a factor. What did I? What did in I? Over gambling. What did I say? Well, you remember what I said one time while was, we were there. Oh well, I know. Well, I don't know if this is what you're referring to, but um, within very short order of us being there and him gambling a little bit. He was like, man, I, I miss Windstar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really miss Windstar. Yeah. It's, it's a little different being closer to home and of that feeling that at any time you can leave. Yeah. But you're in Vegas. You're stuck in Vegas. Yeah. And there's yeah. not leaving going on until and you have to walk through the casino and get anywhere. And it's, it's tough. Right. Like it's, it's like trying to stop smoking and you have to walk through 20 Wind minutes of smoke. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's what it is. Um, and that's how mm -hmm. I felt like, I mean, literally I, and I felt bad for Jody, of course, but after this, and I told her, I'm like, I cannot leave this room until we get on a plane. I can't get out. I don't want to get out. I want to order room service. I, cause I cannot go down there. Cause I'm, I, it's just not that I want to keep playing, but I'm so frustrated at myself that I don't even want to see it. And, you know, that's that's what ended up happening. And then we just stayed in the room, which was fine. You know, we had a good time. But that's it. Vegas. I mean, you just got to got to wait around. If something like that happens, you have to just wait around until you're ready to fly back out. <laughs> so and it could be a it could be a long week or weekend. Or yeah. Really, like, you know, you got to schedule a ton of other things to do in there. Like we went to a concert Friday night and he really didn't have any thoughts of going down to the casino after that. And, yeah. you know, um, but yeah, I think we just need to schedule more stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think I learned that I need to be a more active participant. You know, I, I mean, Mark's been doing this for a while and I've watched and heard most of the things and I know what I'm supposed to do, 
but I've kind of been. You can't put I've, this on you though. Like, I've no, been definitely not Jody. I know what you're trying I'm, to do. No, I, no, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying that I, I haven't been as active um, participant in enforcing the rules, and I know now that's something that I need to do. Yeah, but again, it can't fall on you. No, no, and I'm not Mark saying that the it rules on me. Um, right. You know, we took vows almost 20 years ago, so uh, you know, it's it's a team effort. 20 years. There you go. <laughs> 20 whole years. All right, from Andrea. Mad respect for this channel and you, Mark. That's right. Oh, thank you, Andrea. And forgive yourself is very important. It is true. Oh, I have. You gotta. I have. You, you gotta I, move I've on. I've forgiven myself. I've gotten forgiveness, and I'm moving forward. And that's, you know. This is what, as humans, we're supposed to do. Like, that is, we're all going to make mistakes. Anybody that says they never make mistakes is full of shit. Everybody makes Complete mistakes. Complete bullshit. Yeah. And, but the the thing that you don't want to do is make the same mistake twice. That's where, mm -hmm. as humans, we can take control of. And that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not going to make this mistake again. And I will put things in place to prevent myself from making this mistake again. You know, I like to hear anyone say that they have not made a similar mistake. And then right. I want to know when your 21st birthday was and how few days ago it was. <laughs> that's right. That's about it. You know, that's a good point. Yeah. It, it's if you've never made these mistakes, then you haven't been around long enough and you haven't been gambling long enough. And yeah. I believe I've said that before is that if you have not gone broke and you have not had a horrible trip, you haven't been gambling long enough because it yeah. will happen to us all. It will absolutely. And for Byer Firefly, thank you for the transparency. The realness is awesome. I appreciate you, Firefly, because this is real. That's like, you know, something that Mark and I wanted to be was we're always genuine. This is who we are. You know, we are real people. We gamble and we lose just as we win, you know, and you have to take the winning with the losing as well. You know, because they go together. You're not always going to be on top and you're not always going to be on bottom either. Well, I, I've spent a lot more time on bottom. That's for sure. Than I, have. <laughs> I have spent a lot more time as losers than I have ever as winners. And right. um, Steve and Annie actually asked me the other day, like, hey, with all of your wins, are you still ahead lifetime? And I just said, no, I'm they're not even close. And he's yeah. like, I appreciate that honesty. I'm like, if I would have said yes, I would have been lying to myself. Yeah, right. There is no way I'm ever going to make up all of the money I've lost. I've done well this past year, but lifetime? No. It's, pff, I've that's lost true for anybody. all my money sometimes. Right. Despite what's presented on uh, YouTube. YouTube, TikTok, all, Facebook, all the all videos of that show all the fabulous wins and <laughs> whatnot. There are many more that are just the opposite. Yeah, that's true. And if you only see the wins, hit that light bulb off in your head of, wait a minute, doesn't make any sense. I'm only seeing wins. Does this person never lose? No, they absolutely lose. They just don't show it. Right. And there, there were times over on Gamble the Globe where I had people check in on me asking if I was okay because <laughs> I showed everything as it was. Right. And I had a lot of losses and very, very few wins. And people ask, Hey, are you doing all right? Are you okay? I'm like, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm not <laughs> losing more than I can lose, but I'm showing you what happens. And that's yeah. losing is real. Very important. Absolutely. And from Robin, uh, Robin, love you both for your honesty been in that situation before it sucks exactly yeah. and i think this is like the overwhelming theme is that everyone has been there right and they understand and it's like except for you know the ace guy everyone <laughs> else is understanding and everyone else is yeah been there done that sucks right. you do your best to not have it happen again and i know mark's going to be working hard on that especially in this next you know six months to a year i'm totally um, pumped like i i can't even it up. begin to tell you how much relief i had after all of this went down and i talked to jody and i said what i needed to say and what i wanted to do 
um, it was a huge relief because I, I was finally honest with myself about what happened and realized that I made a mistake and now it's out in the open. And so that that's the best scenario I can even think of right now. I, I feel so much more prepared that if I do walk back into a casino, I know the signs to look for and I, I won't be able to cave because she's going to be in full control or Dave, you're going to be in full control, whatever the case yes. is, but I'm, I will not be, <laughs> I will not be super myself. excited about that. Wife's dream. Yeah. Although we know it's every wife's reality. <laughs> and I mean, so why I excited for Mark's new journey because I get to see it happening to someone else instead of myself. <laughs> and it's next. like, <laughs> it's like, oh, I mean, eventually I will be, you know, like you, the, the odds are not in my favor for continuing to win. It's just not possible. You know, right. we've done really well at Windstar in our last several trips. That does not mean the next trip isn't going to be bad. It's just, that's how it all goes. That's gambling. Right. Right, but we have, and I think a big part of it as, and especially our next trip to Windstar. Obviously, I'll be there, but the next trip to Vegas, I will definitely be there with Mark and be his gambling buddy, <laughs> because we have more fun together. Oh, we much definitely, more, we are not pushing each other to play high dollars. We're playing. Let's play this quarter machine. You know, it's seventy-five cents a spin, and we're there playing it like. It was five dollars a spin or twenty five dollars right. a spin because right. it's the game itself we're looking forward to, and it's that you know those silver strikes over at Four Queens, they were great playing because they just were so old, right. and it was three dollars a spin, and a hundred dollars lasted me. I don't even know how long, but I walked away no, with one hundred twenty in those cents coins. Spin. Yeah, seventy five cents. cents. Yeah. That's right. It was seventy five cents a spin. Yeah, yeah. And that took forever. It was just yeah. like, you're having fun and you're playing through. And yeah. I found a, a nine line top dollar there as well. The five reel. That was a, a nickel machine. And I think I played that until you guys left. Cause I was just like, oh, I love this game. This is one of my favorite games. <laughs> even, though, <laughs> even though it did the same thing. Every other five line, nine or five real nine line top dollar does eventually takes all know, my money. <laughs> it's just not the same as the five real nine lines at Windstar. They're just, they don't play yeah. the same. They don't, they don't no, play they don't. it all no. the same. Yeah. And, you know, as well as I'm still looking forward to our trips because I know Mark is going to be right back there to where he's going to be following the rules and he's going to be tight on his system and yep. he's going to be more budget conscious than he was before. And yes. I really hate to see this happen to anyone, but if it betters yourself, coming out of it then it was a good thing because right. again he didn't lose right. his home he didn't lose his car i don't want any of that to happen to any one of you at all ever i don't want it to happen right. to anyone to go through that but i want you to be better for when you do come out of it right. of you can improve you can figure out what you did wrong and you can make it better and, you and can we're all here to help other people yeah, exactly know. it's all making about making sure it doesn't out. happen okay. again and pedicures. <laughs> <laughs> Not till a thousand. We need a thousand subs first. Then, then a thousand I'll... subscribers, guys. Get a, everybody in your family. Gamble smart. Everyone to go. And subscribed. And, and I hope Mark this happens soon because pedicure. my toenails do need trimming. My, my toenails are getting kind of long. You know, it's like I'm scratching well, my, myself yeah, with them. And I'm like, it was it was a challenge so for hope myself so. on today. I'll tell you that much. Oh god. <laughs> That, that that one toe keeps on like cutting into your sock and, and yeah. making that hole in there. Yeah. What I'll Jody's make sure that happen? he gets the deluxe pedicure, the most expensive one. Why? Why would you need a deluxe? Like what? Well, you want so the milk so and honey one. Get paraffin wax and oh yeah, you gotta have that. Rubs and aroma. You gotta have the hot stone massage. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. I like the milk and honey a lot because it, you know, it gets that dry what skin. What are you talking about? 
Or yeah, oranges and honey? limes smushed into what your skin. I'm, I'm not a big orange and lime fan it's because it's just like too much citrus. <laughs> Mark's just like, what happened? Oh, man, this is not going out well. I'm just going to get a big can of fruit salad and just put my foot in it. I'll be done with it. Oh, and his nails are going to be hot pink. What? Oh, I didn't hear about this one. No. I, I missed that part of the, the wager. Me. I don't understand this. Apparently, this is what happens when you lose. Your wife gets to have the penalty for uh, you know coming back and it's hot pink uh, nail polish. Okay, Dave, I think this audit's over with. <laughs> we're gonna have before and after picks all right let's see uh we got anybody else in here <laughs> <laughs> you got um, too much if we didn't get to your question this tonight we will weird. come back next wednesday that's for sure we'll be back for our uh, live again uh mark i really appreciate you coming on and oh, sharing your story and jody appreciate you coming here too you know, this is not easy for anyone to be up here in the hot seat and listen to your questions. Listen to me, obviously. And it's one of those things, Mark, I appreciate you being there. It's yep. it's hard and you did it. And it's almost like a healing thing for you as well, you know, to be yep. able to oh, share it all. Absolutely. Yeah. No, well, Stacy. And let's in, not right? do this yeah. again. Stacy. <laughs> Every single time we're about to wrap up a show, you come in. <laughs> we appreciate Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Hey there, Stacy. How you doing? You missed the whole meat of the whole thing. You have to go back. You're uh, gonna have to watch the whole thing again, Stacy, because you gotta you gotta hear this because this was good. Yeah, you know, it was good. I'll we probably definitely appreciate uh, put this up as a dedicated. By. I'm probably gonna put this up as a dedicated episode, um, so it won't be available right away. So. We'll we'll get it up tomorrow. Definitely. And it's, I want to have more of these live as well. So yeah, yeah. if you're out there and you want to tell your story, now it means being live. So it's a little different than just our regular recorded. If you want to do that as well, that's great. But I'd like to have more people live and, you know, we can kind of work through of what didn't work. What, where'd you went wrong? Do you understand where you went wrong and how can you get back right again? And right. usually all it is is, understanding that you screwed up and you got to get back right which means getting back to those rules being strict with yourself handling your budget well and you you know all the stuff you have to do and we're just going to remind you of it a lot oh, please do i want you guys to be yep. all over <laughs> i need it <laughs> i think you're gonna be fine mark you know i really do it's yeah. it's, it's definitely you 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 understood as soon as it happened Right. So that comprehension of what happened is what's going to make it to where you're going to be fine. Yeah. And you're already taking all those steps you need to do. And that's the good thing. It's when that it, it, what would worry me is if you didn't, right. as if you just act like nothing happened right. and just kept doing the same thing. Because anytime you keep doing the same thing, hoping for a different outcome, that's the definition of insanity. And that's what we tell ourselves when we're just in that downfall of losing. Well said. I'd not make any changes and I expect something different to happen and it won't. Well said. It's perfect. But we will let you guys know for sure we're on the way to Windstar, which will probably be after Christmas just because of the craziness. But <laughs> most likely midweek again. Um, yeah. I like going midweek. It was better. We'll figure it out. Maybe we'll get Stacy yeah, like there this time. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love you, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> but let's be real here. That's what the show's about. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you, gang, for coming. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Thank you, Jody. Uh, appreciate yes. all you guys. Uh, we will definitely have fun in those pedicures. And I know they're coming soon because we're at 708 now. So it's only another 298, uh, 92. So close. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to end the live stream, but you guys got to both say it. Okay. Gamble smart. Gamble safe. There we go. All right. We're going to live stream. And we'll see what happens. Thank you.